the JK Podcast, the only podcast that thinks EA won E3. They did better this year, but JK. <laughs> I'm Ken O'Connor. I'm Josh Brandman. And currently recording on June 13th, 2017 at exactly 3.08 and 52 seconds p.m. Yep. on the East Coast. This yep. is the JK Podcast, yep. podcast episode 46. Mm. And my God, we are recording in an oven right now. Yes, yeah, so hopefully it'll make our content even better. And quicker. <laughs> Right, so <laughs> this is going to be a mini episode of the JK podcast. Uh, clearly, this is very different than our usual setup. Josh is here in studio today hey. in Kind King Industries or Incorporated or whatever we call that studios. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, um, Nintendo had their Nintendo Spotlight about what was it three hours ago now? It started at 12 o'clock, yeah, yeah. Three um, yeah, we watched Spotlight, we gave some time to digest a little bit, we watched. Some of the um, treehouse content afterwards. Yeah, we watched the uh, treehouse, whatever they wanted to call it. Is that what they just, they the just literally house? called the treehouse. Yeah. Like, so we got some. We yeah. saw some new games too. But me and Josh basically we were gonna watch for a while, but then they started like taking an hour and a half to show like a single game and not moving. So like you know, let's yeah. just record our reaction. And they were right only now. showing the games that like we already really knew about, like nothing like. I don't know. Exactly. So we'll have a when we do our full E3 podcast next week and talk about all the E3 stuff. If any other games have been announced since we started recording. Which is possible, at least for Nintendo, mainly. Yeah, yeah, the they, other one's usually like, that's it. They're done, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, because Sony had nothing to show. That's another uh, thing altogether. Yeah. But yeah, so we're just going to go through the direct uh, little by little. Of course, we'll jump around, assumingly, but. But uh, they started off with a Xenoblade Chronicles 2 trailer. No, they started off with a plane to win trip. No, <laughs> uh, oh, no, yeah. no, that's that's no. True. That, no, that is very true. They started off showing Splatoon arms. Well, did you want to play League. that? Or I don't know because you paused it. Well, I, I muted it. No, no, like oh, it's we, also paused. Well, yeah. Oh, but we're not we're not, no, go, no. we're not going. No, no, no. I know. I'm just saying, like, if you meant to play it, it's not playing. <laughs> I know anyway. it's not playing. Oh, okay. Then pause it. <laughs> it's paused. No, na- no, no, no. I'm trying to. Okay. So anyway, yeah. So they, so they, they started off with that little recap. They showed Arms, which oh, comes out this which, Friday. <laughs> it's funny because before it started, the two of us are talking, and we're kind of like thinking, "All right, and what do we want?" And you were immediately like, "They better not show what they've been already showing." And then literally the second it starts, they showed all of those that have already been shown and announced, and just coming out. Even Arms coming out in like three days, and. It, you were not having a fun time. I was not having a fun time at all. Well, here's the thing: I was no. I was okay with it because that's pretty much all they showed. They did show they did go over a little bit. Like um, I think they showed Rocket League and later on. Oh well, they showed Rocket League in that, but it was like old game doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it it was kind of underwhelming for the trailer. But that that's all they needed though, because they're doing like the, the uh, those three competitions this week too the Pokemon one and all that stuff so they had to get him in there they had to like jab him a little bit but i get it yeah uh but, but then, then we, reggie saved us yeah and we went into <laughs> we went into the xenoblade chronicles 2 trailer right, right which the lesson in that trailer is if you touch a girl's boobs you get a sword or at least slightly above but uh yeah <laughs> yeah they never showed contact but he That's was like thing. he was like oh, why are you, uh this is why i'm here you wanted to have exactly. like a live demo yeah like, well, this is I, what, feel, this I feel is, violated. This is why I need like a, like a spunky female co. Like, oh my god! I have a co. She's like a studio helper, like in the background. Oh my god! So like, people watching on Twitch, like, who's that? Well, no, I'm telling you, that's like the greatest thing ever. Creepy. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. The ghosts are alive here in Tag Studio. Oh, Tag Studios. Wow, Kai King Studios. Yeah, man, it's your own house. It's your own room. And yes, his bedroom is his studio. Yes, my bedroom is my I studio. I did read that, that, yeah, we, <laughs> that we, comment. We, uh, I forgot how much we are doing this live on Twitch. Like, I think that that, that now is, has been the standard, recording JK live on Twitch. But like, It's fun. What the heck? Yeah, I so, mean, we're recording it anyway, so it's not like, oh, it's live only. Yeah, so, quick shout know. out to Jimmy and Slayer in the chat right now, keeping us company. Thank you guys. To be fair, I know this is thrown off because in the middle of the day, people are working, they're at school or yeah, doing we, whatever. We, we announced, we told everyone we were, we were doing a mid-direct day stream and whatnot, so people knew. We're not jump, not surprised on anyone. Well, yeah. Okay, we're getting off track. Though. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Right. You like you like Xenoblade, right? I do like Xenoblade. I really like Monolith. I think they're a good company. They were also partnered up with, um, I I guess just Nintendo. I can't think of like for Zelda Breath of the Wild. Like they were part of that collaboration. Yeah, they helped out with the open, the open world aspect. I'm thinking it's just Nintendo, right? They don't have like a subsidiary for like, Zelda. Yeah. No, no, no. That's, yeah. That's okay. For so Nintendo. basically, they worked with them on that. So I knew it would be a good game like that for Breath of the Wild. And then I don't know. I mean, this is their own game again, and. It was fine. Yeah. It's just, 
I don't know. I don't have the time or enough desire to really play it at the moment. Mm. But I, nice. I saw some people on Twitter complaining about the voice acting. It looked a little rough and whatnot. But in terms of just a good Xenoblade game, that looked a lot better than Xenoblade X that we got. Where that would be, uh, like, that didn't get bad ratings, but like it's like it's not a Xenoblade game. Where this looked like Xenoblade, right? I mean that that one was more mech based, and this one's more person based again. Like yeah. the original with Shulk and stuff like yeah, back that. Yeah, back to the, the back to the turn base, back to the. Sword. No, the other one was very like turn based too. Same oh, exact really? kind of fighting. Okay. It was just more mech, so it like looked different. But the problem I had with that game is it was really fun, really cool looking, but it got really really grindy. Where just like get like two hundred of these, get four of those, mm-hmm. and I start, and then I actually bought the original Xenoblade for Wii, and I was starting to play that. Sort of the same thing, and I'm like, oh, it's that kind of whatever. The same thing. And so I feel like the second one is going to be in the same exact context, kind of whatever. So that's why I don't probably want to buy it because I'm just not about that gr- grinding kind of life anymore mm-hmm. with the gameplay. Like that grinding kind of life. Yeah, man. You, you know, up in the club. No, I <laughs> I want to get it because they're just I like those kind of games. But again, I, I need to see more. And the problem with those games, those games are long as hell. Like oh. I watched Chuck Conroy play through entire and like a hundred percent let's play of the first Xenoblade Chronicles. Mm-hmm. Took him a couple of years to do it. Like well, that's that alone, you have to put a lot of hours in. Yeah, so I will say that. So. I I know um friend of the show Tom Bianco. He's gonna be absolutely obsessed with that game. I mean, the cool out. thing is though, it's confirmed that it's coming out this year because there were rumors that it was getting delayed until spring next year. Yep, they said holiday 2017, which so, we should note. Reggie said in the thing that they were showcasing a lot of games that are coming out this year, mostly yes, or very very soon after. So like. We were expecting some big things. Like we were expect. Like, well, I guess we should talk at the end what we what we didn't get. But um, after Xenoblade, we were given a a trailer for a new Kirby game, right. a four player Kirby game for the Switch. Um, it looked cute and beautiful. There's not too too much to say. We, me and Josh were talking about how like it looks like a Kirby game. It looks like a nice HD, very like high res Kirby game. Um, but didn't do anything like there was no gimmick per se. You have the ability to like have your enemies join you. You, you can like have, convert them. Yeah. yeah, you can either have either four people playing, like four actual people, or you can have four just computer, uh, three computers playing with. Uh, or with I'm you. assuming you could do like maybe like two actual people recruit two oh, yeah. or whatever, I'm, kind of mix and match. But yeah, I mean it looked cool. It was just like it looks like you took one of the 3DS ones that they've been making, put it on the Switch with obviously better graphics and a little smoother gameplay. It looked a, a lot nicer. like uh, Return to Dreamland that we played on tag for a little bit. Yeah. The four players, the I, big weapons. Yeah, I mean, basically, I think it's just a little more polished. But it's like a little game, fun little game, maybe. Mm-hmm. One thing I did I did point out that I noticed in the trailer was at one point, Kirby has a sword. He lifts the sword up to his fire friend, and his fire friend lights the sword on fire when it's a fire sword. Mm-hmm. And then in another scene, Kirby has a water hammer. Right. I'm assuming you can mix and match the ele- elemental powers of the guys you create, you you collect to give yourself more powers. It's so something like that, yeah. You get, a, you get a rock guy, you get a rock sword, or like a rock hammer, stuff like that. Yeah, they, they always try to add something new. Mm. So I, I guess yeah. they did that. Yeah, but the game has no title. It's just, it's just it's Kirby. It's a working title. And 2018. And 2018. But... We were talking about it before. I think probably it looks like a spring 18, 2018 kind of game. Mm. Just based on probably where their other releases would be in the future, it seems like. So it also kind of looks finished in a sense. Like they showed relatively extensive yeah. trailer. You were surprised that it wasn't out this year because they've been they made a big right, yeah. push for this is the year of Kirby. It's right. The year it's, of Kirby. Exactly. It's the what, twenty fifth anniversary 25th this year? Anniversary, yeah. And they were like, oh well we've got these three D S games and all that stuff, but that was also like a three D S direct more or less. Mm-hmm. So now it's like, all right, switch direct time, here's the Kirby Switch game. Mm-hmm. And, and they mentioned there was a four player Kirby game coming, but they said for three D S. Yeah, so and then so that, is, it, is are they doing like Cross? Do you think it? Do you think it's the same game on both? Because y- you could see where they could definitely oh, downplay they those. Technically, didn't say what it was. Well, they said it was. They said it was Switch. The the they, they, the Kirby Direct that, that Direct with Kirby didn't say what that game was. No, I'm saying the 3DS one when they were announcing the other ones. Or they, did they? they just said they said it's a four player Kirby game for 3DS. Oh, it was for three. So maybe. Yeah. Or they could have just. They could have like. I don't, I don't know. Or drop that concept and said, "Ah, screw it." No, yeah. but like. <laughs> Well, that'd be a quick turnaround, honestly. Mm. But um, uh, Slayer in the chat says Kirby looked great, but I need more than that to be interested in a Switch. Well, that's the thing. I, Fair it's, enough. It's yeah, not Kirby, a system seller Kirby's, by all yeah, means. No, Kirby's no, no. not selling you on a it, Switch. It's, it's it's nice. It looks a little more innovative. It looks polished. It's nice on a Switch with 1080p, 60 frames, all that. But uh, better. 
Yeah. And that game like runs at like 600p. <laughs> I mean... No, it looked beautiful. I wouldn't buy it either way. But, yeah. you know, it looks nice. For those who like Kirby, sure. Mm. After that, we got... Um, oh, they started introducing po- uh, Pokemon. Uh, Shinya Takakashi came out to talk about Pokemon. That's and, his name. Yeah. It's right there. Are you sure? Yeah, it's Reddit. Shinya Takakashi. Is that the guy? Yes, that's the guy. Oh, I love that guy. <laughs> oh, because I, th- I thought you meant the other guy, the actual Pokemon guy. No, 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 no. But, yeah, I love this guy. This is the guy that his job is depending on the sound of Switch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we were talking about that. It might have been a translation thing, but he's like, I'm so relieved to figure out, like, the Switch is being accepted. It's like, well, are you really that afraid that, uh... <laughs> yeah, it was pretty interesting. That you're, that people are gonna reject- okay, so you gotta think, if people didn't like the Switch, Nintendo would have been done for. Honestly, yeah. I think they, like, they honestly... Would be, they would have given consoles they, at the very least. Right. I think they would have actually full-time done the mobile market with more mobile games. Or just release, on, or release on PC. That would be cool, too. I could see them on Steam. But, uh, yeah, so basically, this guy still has a job for Nintendo. Mm. And <laughs> basically, I think yeah. he was only... He, he was oh he he basically did a minute worth of filler which was actually killing me. But yeah. then <laughs> well we should also mention that me and Josh actually record our live reactions to the entire right. direct. It'll be up later today at some point. So if you want to see as a separate video. But uh, I just remember when this was happening. He he mentioned Pokemon. I braced myself. <laughs> then they showed Pokemon. Like you're showing things we already yeah. know. And then it's like oh more Pokemon news on Switch. Braced again. <laughs> and that leads yep. into the meat and potatoes here where there is a full Pokemon a core Pokemon game core RPG Pokemon game coming to the Switch right. sometime next year. Right. And assuming core means actual main series game as opposed to, oh, well, it's a, you know, full-fledged mystery dungeon. Like, I don't... I think the fact that they said core... They said core. ...really means, like, an actual main series game. If it's game. Gale so, of Darkness 2 or something like that... I'd like that. Those games were fun. To be fair, now we have higher expectations, I, but I like those games. Mm-hmm. Those are good. I mean, I'd be mad. <laughs> like, like th- those games are fine, and they per- they gave interesting challenge, but the fact that, like, you couldn't catch Pokemon, you had to, like, capture the shadow Pokemon right. and free their hearts but then they the were shadow transferable. serenity. But they were transferable to a real game. Yeah, but who cares? Oh, Greg, I got a Lugia. They're Did, transferable to your I, 3DS, the I, exclusive Pokemon system. I have all the Pokemon. I don't need more Pokemon. Uh, well, hopefully it is not disappointing. Hopefully this is actually Pokemon Stars or oh. whatever you want to call it. But yeah. At this point, if it's coming out next year, it should be Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon in one big like package. We're at the end of Sun and Moon when you fight Necrozma on top of the, the thing. Mm-hmm. It goes black. And it's like... Two years later, and then that's when Ultra Sounds Remains are like, it's been two years since you, what happened to you on that hill? And then, like, you find out. Because, do we know if the trainers in Ultra Sound Ultra Moon are different trainers than who? Well, you can dress them up different. Yeah, but is, it's, is it still Sun and Moon? Those are, those are their canon names, which... Yeah, we have no idea. Mm-hmm. They didn't show any dialogue or text yeah. or... Whatever. I'm hoping today during the trios they show Ultra Sound Ultra Moon. I mean, they got, uh, they're going through Friday, right? So they got... Three more days worth of Treehouse yeah. action. So like, like we're saying now, things we're talking about now might be outdated by the time you listen to this podcast, but as of right now, this is what we're working off of. Yeah, so very exciting, though, even though literally that was like one sentence of just like, we're working on the game. Like, not anything else, but there was something... That's, well, all, I ne- that's well, all I needed, though, honestly. Like, I was okay with that. That made me so happy. The only other thing was, though, that they said it would it might take like a year or a little over a year's worth of time. Which so we were want- start. So we were starting to say, first of all, it's good to work on that, but yeah. also it makes sense. Holiday 2018. That's our Pokemon. Another game. November release, which makes perfect sense. So I'm fully happy with that. So that is good. It might make sense that they're doing Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon then, because I guess people feel blindsided if like the Switch version was out this year. Well, that's the thing. I mean, first of all, still new console. People can't get their hands on like, it. We we've never had a console release with a Pokemon game, have we? Like in like the one year span. Maybe Game Boy Color. Maybe Stadium. Was like released the, the first year, yeah, maybe something. But yeah. I I also don't know if they had supply issues like they have now. Oh, I really yeah, don't no. know. Supply issues only started with the Wii generation, really. I think. Hmm. So, but yeah, but new Pokemon. So Pokemon eventually. It was it was quick. It was brief, but my not God, much more. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's, 
What's what's your name? I always forget that guy's name. Isn't yeah. that the actual guy? That's not. It's not. Wait, is it? It's Satoshi. Is it isn't Satoshi? It? It looks older. I thought it was. Well, the man has aged. <laughs> so has the girl in the uh, treehouse. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, no, that's right. They didn't show his name. Yeah, interesting. Okay. I do think that's Satoshi. Yeah. And then after the Pokemon announcement was probably the announcement that broke the internet in terms of Nintendo. Well, also really quick on the Pokemon thing. Yep. You're glad it's not a Gen 4. I would have liked a Gen 4 remake, not going to lie. But, you know. It, it could be a Gen 4 remake. He never said... It, 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 a, that, well, that's true. When a, I hear core game, I he, I picture the diamonds, the pearls, the platinums, all like those like those kind of games. As opposed I don't, to... The Colosseum, oh, well, yeah, yeah. the no, 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 Gale yeah. of Darknesses. Well, that doesn't mean it's Gen 4. It could also be a Gen 7 something. But Gen 4, I don't... I mean, I'll take it either is way. It too early for, is it too early for Gen 8? Well, that even sounds weird to say. Generation 8, Gen 8. Right. Generate the generation. Uh, maybe? It is early, but I could see it. I think it's it. too early for Gen 8, if they're, especially since they're doing Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon this year. I, anyway. think, I think they want to use the engine once more for Diamond and Pearl. The only, time they, the only reason they update generations is really just to mess with the... Uh, 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 I don't know if you guys hear the llama in the background, but hopefully that... We need to have a lawn. Wait, you keep talking. That's talk. a good question. You keep, you keep talking. <laughs> I'm freaking this out. Should keep I talk. move on? Yeah, keep to, uh, yeah, talk. Yeah, talk about what your reaction to this was. Oh. Well, hi. I'm taking over. He really doesn't have a lawn. That's actually surprising. But, uh... <laughs> uh Alright, hopefully you can hear me. So, the biggest thing, though, of course, is going on while it's the biggest thing. Metroid Prime 4. Everyone was literally freaking out. Crazy stuff. Thank you, Slayer. But, uh... Metroid Prime 4. Oh my god. When that thing went... I'm not even, like, a Metroid fanboy. But... It was pretty cool. Because I, I saw the lightning kind of Samus whatever logo. And, uh... <laughs> literally, I only recognize that from, like, Smash, really, obviously, but... It's our landscapers blowing shit. Uh, but, uh... Yeah, Ken was freaking out. Um, Sorry. What I was... Say? Okay, what are we talking about? The Metroid Prime. Ugh! <laughs> Metroid fucking Prime! See, he was freaking out. I think I was watching Twitch chat at the same time. Twitch chat was absolutely freaking out. Because usually everyone's like, Oh, I want this. Oh, nah. But it never actually I like, happened. I, I didn't think it would happen. Metroid Prime 4 is one of those games like... People, people want it. People need it. But like, there's just been... Metroid's been dead for so long. To come out. But Reggie made that one statement, talk to me in a year. Which, to be fair, this is probably not coming out by next time that year. But I, I was talking about this too, with all those tweets with like the Prime Rib. Right. And people were asking about the Metroid. And it music. actually happened. It actually happened. See, this is why people need to watch like people on Twitter more. And it's right, I never really played a Metroid Prime game either. I own one or two of them, but like I didn't really extensively play it. So, and yes, he did just make it hotter. Thank you. I, yeah, well, but, I mean, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, everyone's going crazy. They didn't even say anything, though. It's just literally Metro Prime 4, it's now in, in development. development. So... It's the same thing happened in Kingdom Hearts, like, four years ago at Buffalo Wild Wings. Kingdom Hearts 3, now in development. Yeah. That's all I needed. Presumably, I I see this as a 2019. Because... Do they, do they not give any release date? What, oh, they said now in development, that's right. I think so. Because, uh, like, the thing is... Yeah, they didn't even say a year, so... Like, I, I just think that with, like, if you have Pokemon coming out holiday 2018, mm -hmm. this is going to be holiday 2019. Yeah, this is the, I, this I think is, that's this what is that is. This is the seller, yeah. So, it'll take a while, but then all of a sudden, uh, I don't know if this is next on the list, but you want to just talk, oh, because they didn't show it in this. Yeah, so they didn't, they didn't show this during the, uh, the spotlight at all, but, but then afterwards, right after, right afterwards in the treehouse, they showed off a... New, an, another new Metroid game for the 3DS. Which, out of left field, everyone's freaking out. Now you have two Metroid games all of a sudden out of nowhere. And, uh, yeah, it's just it was pretty fun. crazy. Yeah, but. and it looked good. It's, um, return, it's Samus Returns 
which is a 3DS remake of Return of Samus. From 1991. Yeah, Met the Metroid 2 game. It's a long time. And it's funny, earlier this year we were talking about there was AM2R, another Metroid 2 remake, and that got taken down by copyright by Nintendo. They said, no, you can't do this up there. It was a really harsh takedown, and everyone's like, why are you taking it down, Nintendo? <laughs> And, and this is why. And this is why, because they're making a full-fledged remake, which makes perfect sense. But then it's for the 3DS, and people are like, I want this on I'm Switch. Like, I want to play but, this on PC. But, well, well, no one said that, actually. And 2 r was on PC, so. Well, yes, but it's weird, actually. No one in Twitch chat said PC. Everyone just wanted on Switch. I mean, I guess if you, <laughs> if you can play it, no one really cares. Yeah, but, like, uh, you know, it looked cool, though. Like, it looked like a cool game. Yeah, um, no, it looked great, just... It's just, we were saying, like, this should have been out five years ago. Like, it would have been a nice 3DS title five years ago. But I also mentioned it's nice now that we have this game to prep... It comes out this year. This game preps us for Metroid to, like, kind of revitalize as a franchise. Right. And then we get Metroid Prime and 4. And it also on. conveniently sells more 2DS XLs that they wanted to sell 6 and million. And more on. Amiibo. There's a fucking squishy Metroid Amiibo. It's a Metroid escaping from his tank... Like this, <laughs> and you can squeeze yep. the Metroid. It's a squishy Metroid amiibo. Yeah, you were freaking out about that a lot. I love amiibo. Well, I... and Twitch chat was freaking out, so you're not the yeah. only one. But I was just sitting there. But <laughs> you were going crazy over that thing. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's cool. I I guess like, are you obligated? Then you have to buy all of these. Oh, the amiibo. Oh yeah. I so, own. I like, own. They showed off I the total. own every amiibo ever made right now, except I'm missing two Fire Emblem ones because I just haven't found them yet in stores because like no one really cared about them at all. Like, I think they showed off in total like eight new amiibo today. so far. And four Breath of the Wild, three Mario Odyssey, two Samus, oh. two Fire Emblem. Oh, so that's more than eight. That's more than eight. <laughs> Rip me. Yeah, pretty much. So you better have a deep wallet to buy all these if you collect I amiibo. I threw my money at the screen already today. Actually, he literally did. He he sat there, pulled out dollar bills, and <laughs> just threw them. Wait, when did you throw it? When was that? With the, the amiibo? The amiibo. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, so back to the spotlight. Right. After all of the Metroid, like, not much there. Just, like, hey, it's here. It's happening. Everyone's happy. I think this is a microcosm of Nintendo. They, they build you up. <laughs> and then take me down. And then you go on such a fall. So... <laughs> New game for the Switch. Right now, it's just called Yoshi. It's a working title. It looks like a sequel to uh, Yoshi's Woolly World because it has that exact same Yoshi like model. But it, the world itself is not yarn. It looks like a cardboard cutout kind of thing. But the enemies themselves aren't yarn either. It's like actual enemies walking around the world dealing with a yarn Yoshi. Is he even yarn? He is yarn. But there's no yarn in the eggs. The eggs look yarn. No, but when you throw them, like, they don't, like, they don't do the in... yarn thing and yeah. tangle them up. Like, it just kills them. So, it's different mechanics in that sense. I honestly think this game is really early in development, because you and me both thought it looked real bad. Like, it just looks very unfinished. Like, it looks kind of plain. I mean, it also looks like Super Paper Mario uh, for Wii. Yeah. Like, because yeah, you can there's... kind of flip the thing. You can also, there's, like, depth where you come forward, There's go a back. weird mechanic where you can change the entire way the land or the level is presented to you. And apparently it changes the gameplay and also is used for puzzle solving, I'm assuming. Yeah, but, like... Like, it looks very ambitious. Just something about it just looks wrong. It, I don't, to me, it just looks plain. Like, it just looks plain. I, I, yeah. don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sold on it. Ooh. The heck? That's the sound. Oh. <laughs> what? Hey! hey, hey. Oh Buy Amiibos lol. D Money Games just donated $20. Thank you, D Money Games. That's Daniel, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. How do you even have $20? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, buddy. Sorry, we're, we're not using our normal setup right now, otherwise it would have shut up on screen, but thank you, though. I appreciate that. I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when we get like a donation or a follow, that thing goes off. I just don't have the setup done right now, hmm. because we're on like a different thing. Oh, Aww, right. heart. Thank you, dude. <laughs> Much appreciated. Um, but yeah, Yoshi doesn't look done. They don't even have a title for it yet. I'm assuming it's going to be a very different game once it finally comes out. Again, that Did was... they announce 2018? Uh, let's check right now. Yeah, 2018. Okay. So, so no timetable that exactly. That to me feels like, like a September game kind of next year. I can see that kind of like a holdover in between bigger titles. Yeah. My friend. You, <laughs> you can now buy Josh's first Amiibo. I do have a few. You have a few Amiibo, yeah. I, I mainly have like the collector ones. Like I have... Uh, the Gold Mario. Gold Mario, Silver one. I don't know. Do you Some. have... Yeah, I have like things. Like, I have like this is the, the he's Jap got like everything. This is like the Japanese Rob from J Japan, the Nippon that season's case. 
<laughs> I mean, you also have like oh yeah, all of them over there. That and there's an entire thing behind me there. But yeah. Uh, then after that, we got. Yeah, I knew it wasn't a donation for, for me. Josh. Yep. <laughs> That's fair. But That's fair. <laughs> um, next up, we were given it's Fire, Fire Emblem, Emblem Warriors, which is basically <sighs> let's take Dynasty Warriors and make Hyrule Warriors, and then take Hyrule Warriors yeah. <laughs> and make Fire Emblem Warriors. So it's the same exact thing. Just different main series characters. It's so sad. This trailer that we have right now, we're just watching. It the, looks uh, cool. Yeah, this trailer looks cool. But the treehouse segment that me and Josh watched after the direct, which was baby, basically like an hour ago now or something. Yeah, about like, an hour ago. It was uh, horrible. I mean, it's if you like Boring. Dynasty Warriors, if you like Dynasty Warriors, you like the game, and if you don't. Don't buy the game. Like, yeah. And we don't really like it, so... I like Fire Emblem. I like these characters. But you're not good, good. But you don't like Dynasty Warriors. Hyrule Warriors was fun, though. I enjoyed Hyrule Warriors a lot. Well, is it the I would, I would a... rather they make Hyrule Warriors for the Switch. I'd buy it again. I honestly would. Even though they tried to bring it to the 3DS. That's the thing. They're bringing it to the 3DS also. They didn't show that at all, but they're bringing it to the 3DS as well. I'm not surprised. And it's going to be horrible. I mean, it's not my kind of game, so I'm not buying like, the, it. Because the but... models look nice. The graphics look nice. The gameplay is the basic Hyrule the same gameplay. gameplay I don't know it doesn't do anything for me it's very repetitive yeah um, I mean if you really like Fire Emblem you get to see your favorite characters or whatever yeah um, we definitely see Marth a lot I feel like he wasn't that prominent in these games but then he's like there all mm -hmm. the time but I mean it's cool if you like those games you can check it out but that's right. probably about it for that yeah next up they brought up out An Anuma and he started off by going over um, the Zelda man the Zelda Man, yes, indeed. They start off by showing uh, off Skyrim again on the Switch because they announced the other day that Amiibo will work in Skyrim for Switch. You can get Link's outfit from Breath of the Wild and whatnot. Yeah, so you could basically cosplay as Link while you're running around the world of Skyrim. And they mentioned that other Amiibo will unlock other things as well. Oh my god, my hair is a mess right now from being so hot. Look at it, it's like. Oh my god. Yeah. All right, well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I saw myself from the camera like, oh my god. You're going Super Saiyan. I am. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> After that, they showed off the expansions for um, Breath of the Wild. Because there are two DLCs still coming. One, um, coming now June, June 30th. 30th and so then the other one, I don't think they set a date still, but it's supposed to be... Holiday 2017. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they showed off the new, tr the new trial thing, which this looked amazing. I was really happy with this because it looked like they created a different scenario. Like, it's, it's its own self-contained little box area, right. but it's its own little, like, puzzle yeah. slash battle area. And you also have this, like, it looks like also like a calm environment, too, off to the side. You saw, like, cooking stuff, so it's almost mm -hmm. like gather well, the stuff from one level. From what it looks like, I think, you start, I think you start each zone where it, with nothing, no swords. No, like, do you, did you ever get to that island in Breath of the Wild where it took all your stuff? No. There's an island in Breath of the Wild where you land on. As soon as you touch the island, it's like your trial begins now. It takes every food item you have, all your wow, no, armor, I no. and you need to like basically start from scratch on this little island, hmm. which is very interesting. Pretty cool. So it, I think that if they do it like that, where it's it's fifty floors of just like, hey, you're dropped back in with nothing. Go do it. Because at the yeah, end, at I, I would like that, and you accumulate everything and cook some stuff, and you just keep moving up. Yeah, I think that's really cool. It looked nice. Yeah, it looks and, it looks um, great. I was mentioning that I wish the tr the uh, the shrines were like that too. The shrines were great. They had a nice aesthetic. They all looked ancient, but they all looked exactly the same from a viewpoint. Where these right. I'm seeing here, I'm seeing like the entry oh, point. Yeah, a yeah. grassland. Oh, a whole wind area. Right. Um. Well, that's why it's uh, Iceland. That's why it's DLC, man. They gotta put more effort into. Well, the, this deal, this looks great already. It does look cool. Water area, like this looks. It's all a bunch of self-contained little like fighting arenas, and I absolutely love it. I'm excited for that. But then they also did show off. This is the part I like because I haven't collected all the stuff. I haven't been to all the shrines yet. I haven't collected all the Korok seeds. Mm -hmm. Uh, basically your map can be traced on where you've actually moved, and I'm, also yeah. you can wear like a Korok mask thing, which tells you if you're nearby a uh, seed, so it's kind of cool. We need a Ken hair emote. Ooh, once you get emotes, <laughs> yeah, you could do that. Yeah, exactly. Evolving hair. I, hair hope, one, that, I hope that the map tracking is retroactive. Well, that's I, what people I are hope... saying, I know, because... I want to see what I did. That's the thing. I mean, people are saying, is there a way to even do that, or if... Like, here's the thing, though. If they were thinking about it when the game came out, then hopefully they put in something to silently track it. Yeah. But who knows? Yeah. So, we hope. Um, but they also did show off some new other new stuff. Armor. Like, the Phantom Hourglass guy. That's Phantom really Hourglass, cool. Majora's Mask. There's a whole tingle 
Uh, we've seen it before, but we've seen it in action now. But like seeing them running through the fields, the, about, the uh, Korok mask. Yeah, it's it funny; it jiggles when you're actually near one. Which that'll be useful because I still have not gotten all the Koroks yet. I mean, there's 900 of them, so yeah. I think I have like 300 left. I'm getting there. Yeah, but like, okay, yeah, <laughs> two thirds, yeah. And then master mode, which is the hard mode. Basically, all the enemies are at least like one tier harder, and yep. there's a lot more bosses on the map. And there's flying enemies now, like like platforms and whatnot. And uh, I don't know; they showed off a Lionel here at the end. Right. It, it it looks like like it looks like solid gold or like it has a weird tint. I don't know if it's the coloring. But yeah, looks... I mean the fact that they did that cool art, it makes me think that is a new one because like let's say you raise up the other Lionels as bosses for hard mode. Yeah. This is maybe one of the harder ones, and it like looks different. I don't mm. know something like that. And now then they showed off a teaser. This I... was bad. Because <laughs> you didn't like this. Well, here's the, I think because we need to we need to like expound upon it a little bit. So it starts off with Cass playing like the accordion and it says, "Do you know of the hero's ballad?" Now, in, you haven't finished Breath of the Wild. No. How many of the memories have you seen? Uh, I completed zero, but I have there, found clues to at least the, half. <laughs> the earliest memory we get in Breath of the Wild, it shows Zelda making Link the Knight, giving her him the Master Sword and all that stuff like that. Mm. And all the four heroes are talking about like, yeah, he passed all the trials and like he conquered all this shit. Like we don't know, we don't know what Link did though, because it's showing it's showing off the four heroes, the four um heroes who are now dead. I think it's going to be it's going to be played in the past. I think it's going to be a self-contained DLC played in the past that's going to reveal more story as we play it. So you're saying someone's going to be spawned by like a memory point and you're like, "Do you want to start the champions?" Correct. Ballot? Yeah, like it's it's like one big memory and then you play through the memory. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's or bad. It's four it's just, memories on the map. I, I just wish we would have seen like well, something. They got to tease it. They Holly 2017. Yeah, I mean, we'll probably get something in like September, October, and it'll probably be showing a little more. Yeah, that's the great thing with Nintendo is like this isn't like we're not going to hear from them nothing for the next year. That's what Microsoft does. Microsoft only announces stuff on E3, and that's it. Sony does um, E3, and then their December pro program. Nintendo does once a month, once every two months. We get something new out of them, yeah. and then to go along with the DLC, they also showed off. Four new Amiibo for Breath of the Wild. They all look great, mm. except the Urbosa one. She has a giant pole going up her ass. <laughs> like, I know they have to it, put those clear supports in to, like, make the Amiibos, like, stand up. But the they have her the back... The pose is very interesting. They have her back... Because here's... They're showing off all the weapons. So, like, each of them have their own weapons. Right. And hers was the shield... But why can't the, she hold it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, looks interesting, but you can pick it up for twelve ninety nine. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> The Daruk Sandstorm is gonna be like fifteen dollars because it's gonna be so heavy. They actually increased the price. <laughs> if if the uh, like the um the Guardian Amiibo was was more, that more? Yeah, only a couple dollars, but still, we'll see. All right, fair enough. Yeah, but more Amiibo, more, more Amiibo. Fun. Have fun. I, I'm really that. excited. Breath of the Wild to me is one a perfect game. It's second in my mind, only to Majora's Mask at this point, just because I like Majora's Mask went darker with the story and whatnot. But yeah. Breath of the Wild cannot be like it's amazing. Speaking about wild. Then they went to Reggie on the beach. Well, that was the entire th- that, was, <laughs> no. that was the entire theme of the, of the spotlight was them like you moving. could take it anywhere. Yeah, that's the whole thing about this. You can take it anywhere, and also it's traveling different worlds like Mario does in Mario Odyssey, which we'll get to in a minute. Which it was kind of weird because now thinking about it, it was like so this whole thing's going. It's like wait, that was the spotlight game. Yeah, and it's like where is it? Yeah. So interesting approach, but yeah. Well, that's what you were you were concerned about that it was going to be nothing but Mario Odyssey. Right, and then they almost showed everything but it, and then yeah. like. Give me. <laughs> so it was like <laughs> give and take. Um, but yeah, Reggie just reaffirmed like, oh yeah, Splatoon two coming soon. Here's a tournament. Yeah, which then I was like dying inside. I'm like, no, arms then, coming soon. Here's then he talked the about all the different tournaments, and I'm sitting there like, oh. And then he goes um, directly into the Mario um, and Rabbids game, which we saw, which at- we saw at the Ubisoft one. Yeah. So then it was like, oh my god, and this was I think the point where I was looking at the time because it was confirmed that it was a 25 minute direct. And I'm looking, I'm like, oh my god, there's only like five minutes left, and they keep repeating stuff. I'm like, oh, they're going to run out of time here, and that's it. Yeah. But... Which it makes sense, because they can't assume that people watch every other conference. Right, it's so fair. So they need to do this. Right. I, I get it, but just it just... <sighs> <laughs> but the game looks really cool. Oh yeah, Mario and Rabbids looks so good. It's it, If you like tactical games, if you like like um, Final Fantasy Tactics, um, that's if you like... Uh, it's more... It's well, more, it, it, in Nintendo World kind of thing, like those are games you would have played that are like it. Fire, Fire Emblem, Emblem has, in a code sense. Codename Steam. A lot like Codename True. Steam. And then going past that, I mean like basically it most resembles like XCOM, XCOM 3 that was recently out on the computer, which was also given out as part of the Humble, Bun- Humble Bundle monthly... Yep. Like 
couple months ago. But uh, who the hell is this guy? There's a weird oh, rabbit with like Marth hair and like a gold suit of anime. armor. Yeah, but like just really cool game and like. Don't let the rabid thing turn you off, because it, it just looks really cool. It looks cool. The game. rabid thing was never a turn off for me. It just it was weird. A lot of people it was because they're like, oh, rabbits, why? But like, well, rabid humor is like the equivalent of poop humor to me. It's very like, it's stupid. Like, it's yeah. very yeah. But this looks funny and interesting and charming. And I that, mean, forget even if you don't find it funny, like the gameplay elements itself look good. Yeah. So that's reassuring. So yeah, and that's that, coming out the August. end of August, and I already I'm pre- telling you, I already pre ordered. Nintendo it. has such a good line for the Switch this year. They do. They. They properly Arms, spaced it Platoon, out. Splatoon, Rabbids, Pokken, Mario Odyssey. Like, I'll just talk and about, they have Xenoblade coming out Xenoblade, still. Xenoblade, like, they have a big title every month. Basically every month. That's right. Incredible. And then, and then, and then fucking oh, Rocket, the Rocket League. Rocket thing. League. And I'm like dying because like three minutes left. No! <laughs> it's like... And no, okay. The, Rock- cool, the one cool thing though, honestly, we didn't emphasize it. Rocket League though, they're making it cross, uh, cross-platform. So well, yeah, that's what uh, Minecraft. They didn't mention in the oh, direct during right. Microsoft's direct. They announced they that did all that. Minecraft versions will now be cross-platform, including the iPhone version. Yeah, which I thought was very interesting. So I can be playing on my Switch. You can play on your Xbox One, and we can be playing Minecraft together. Disclaimer: I do not own an Xbox One, but if I did, yes, on your but, P- on your PC though. Haha. But um, it it is really cool. I I do like that functionality. But then it's like, well, Rocket League old game, eh. but but that's constantly being updated. It got confirmed for 4K, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So it, it's nice. Yeah. And then and then they end off with the big the boy. final the final trailer. The and final then fantasy. Literally, trailer. the second I looked at this, I'm like, are they really showing Xenoblade <laughs> it lo- again? It looks like Xenoblade, and then it looks like Jurassic Park or something. Yeah, and it looks like Ark Evolved. That's what I was saying, like <laughs> the Ark survival game with the dinosaurs. Yeah. And then it's we're, like, we're, wait a second. We're talking about Mario Odyssey here. So, freaking, a dinosaur walks on, and we're looking at this thing. It zooms in on the head. It's got a little red hat. There's a little red hat, and Mario jumps from him. And you even said, where did he come from? I know. you. D- yeah, that was almost like foreshadowing. It's like, yeah. wait. Um, okay, so like we, we can go frame by frame here, but I, like Mario Odyssey in general, what do you think? Um, this, is, this is the game for this year for a Switch owner. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think that's true. This I mean, if you like adventure type games, this is this is your game. Incredible. It's basically it's like a new version of um, Galaxy mm-hmm. in a sense, and this time they're taking it in a little different way. And the man can have so many different costumes and hats, and currency really yeah. means something in this game. You can buy at different shops with yeah. things. Well, I just want to. I just think I got like a theory here. One second. Sure. So I'm, I'm going through the trailer right now, and there's this scene where Mario. I've been calling it the Nightmare Before Christmas World because right. it looks like this. So right. this looks like a graveyard. Like th- see, how, like things are like, well, like are broken ghost- everywhere. I mean, it looks like a typical Boo level or a Boo world. Yeah. Or, so mm-hmm. in the game, the hat you wear is named Cappy, and Cappy looks like a white. In his he basically form. looks like a Boo in a sense yeah. with a white top hat. Yeah, he's a white top hat. Now watch in the trailer here. He jumps up in the air, right. goes on your head. What are you talking about? The teeth. Look at the hat. The crumpled up hat. It's like all destroyed and ripped and tattered. No, because wasn't that the whole thing where he basically took over as Mario's hat? Well, no, no, but I'm saying why is Mario's hat like that? I think we start off with, like, Mario not dying, quote-unquote, but Bowser just kicking the shit out of Mario. Crash lands in this, like, graveyard area, meets this ghost hat. Watch, he combines with Mario's hat right here. Like, see how it's all, like, destroyed? Combines with Mario's hat, brand new hat. and makes it... And makes it brand new. Okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Just um, things in the trailer, though. All the different costumes and hat combinations. Yeah, I mean, that stuff's cool. Like, the aesthetic stuff. But, I like, we even saw it in the treehouse portion when they showed it. It actually did something where it unlocked one of the moons that you collect where you had to wear proper attire. So, like, it was it was a thing. Hopefully, it means a little more than that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it looks I'm, like it has I'm some sort of I'm assuming every use. outfit and every hat gives you some kind of different ability. Yeah, so I, the hat, I hope. The hat is used for two things. One is the changing of the outfits, basically, which will have different effects, we assume. And also, you can capture and take over the... You're possessing the bodies of enemies and inanimate objects. Well, you can also... Wait, what was the first one? Customize? No, well, I said, yeah, the change the way you look, and also you have different abilities based on how you look. Oh, Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. And then you can take over the bodies of enemies. So we see Mario not only taking over the bodies of like a Goomba and a Koopa, he's taking over the taxi car in New Donk City. He took over a person. He's taking over a person. Which, I don't know what you do with that, but like... You go get maybe, a mortgage. Uh, yeah, maybe you go into a random like hotel or club or 
something. Yeah, but, we see him taking over like the like weird like tiki style things. Oh, and even like little things part of the street. Like yeah. you can a tank. He takes over a tank. Right, and he's it's like just, it's a Mario thing. tank with a mustache. I mean, essentially, it does have a mustache. The T Rex has huh. a mustache. Basically, the moral of the story, you can almost take over anything with this hat. So the whole point is like, oh, just keep throwing your hat at things and check out what it, what you can actually take over. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. That alone, like, that was never hinted at in any of the previous... Like, we knew there was a focus on hats because we saw the eyes in the hat back in the, the trailer and whatnot. Right, but we thought it would just be more, like, powers-oriented. Like, oh, you can jump on it, you can do what... So I thought it's almost like, oh, you can unlock more hat-based mechanics. Yeah, I thought, like, oh, here's an ice hat. Ice Mario. Like, that kind of stuff. This never... kind of takes it to a... A whole other level. Yeah, because the power-ups are now pretty much endless in this game. I don't know what taking over the dinosaur does in that dinosaur level. That's going to be amazing. I mean, I almost feel like it's the equivalent to the taxi. The taxi's probably a nice way of faster commu- uh, faster travel, but and the dinosaur's faster travel in this what, world. Think what that can mean. Imagine, imagine they do a race. Like, part of the, how to get a moon in New Donk City is, like, a race. Take over a taxi. That's the thing, because with this game, it's like, what, you need at least a certain amount of moons to, like, charge your thing. Like, you collect moons almost like shine sprites, in a sense, mm-hmm. with Super Mario Sunshine. Well, we heard before, and- it's nice that in Mario games, we've collected stars, we've collected suns, I like the shine sprite back there. And uh, the, now we're collecting moons. And the moons look like Shine Sprites, too, because they have like the little like Right, so it really spheres. sets up Pokemon Stars for next year. But, <laughs> um, Pokemon Sun and Moon confirmed. Right, but uh, they're like that Steven Universe character. Too late on the predictions. But um, <laughs> Nintendo will win E3. Oh, my God. I don't know if they won E3, but they came very close, at least. Like, it's, they did a very nice well, job. Well, here's the thing. We'll talk about this back on our main show, but right now it seems between Ubisoft and Nintendo to us... And we said the only reason Ubi did so well is because it had Nintendo elements in it. Right. But Ubi but it was made their, the, it, it was, was their idea. Yeah. So it was their fault. I'm almost okay giving them both the win together, but we'll discuss that Ooh, next. Ooh, co-MVP. Here's the thing. Nintendo's still announcing things right now, so for all we know, Animal, Cro- Animal Crossing Switch might be out right now. I yeah, no the idea. whole world could be knowing that now you're checking Fury Yeah, right? Sense, I'm checking. But, uh, so, no official lo- uh, release of Skate 4, as we've seen. But, <laughs> aside from that... Uh, I mean, everyone was loving this thing. Everyone was loving Odyssey the way it's shaping up. And mm-hmm. the really cool thing, which you're still in shock repeating Superstar Saga. They just announced Superstar Saga. Huh? Super Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. Well, really quick. Don't tell me anything. Hold on. Odyssey will be coming out October 27th, which that's actually really soon when they were saying holiday, whatever. Oh, that's before the oh, holiday. It's a remake of the GBA game, the original GBA game with all new graphics. Eh. Like this... Wait, but what? for 3DS. Well, yeah, it's a handheld. Makes sense. Uh... Ooh. We'll, we'll watch it's this okay. M- we'll watch this more later. It's I'm okay. I'm very happy about this. The it's Treehouse okay. Ha- yeah, they're still announcing things on the Treehouse. Yeah, I mean, uh, Treehouse is going on now, and I think they're probably going right into their tournament thing that they're doing. Yep, and the next day, and the next the day, and the next Splatoon day. The Splatoon 2 Invitational, and then they're doing more tomorrow, and Thursday, and Friday, and whatever. I also think it's cool to mention that um, the bad guys in Mario Odyssey, it's Bowser's wedding planners, and it's these, like, rabid, like, ra- like rabid, rabbit people. Rabbit. Like, th- yep. what was the the girl's name? Harriet? Because she has... Oh, yeah. She had the long hair, hair's in for a rabbit, and then Harriet, a female rabbit. Right. So, and apparently you fight those bosses multiple times because they just improve, but yeah. it's nice to not have Koopalings as bosses. That I was very excited I would, about. I would like to see the Koopalings, though, honestly. In some capacity. No. That's the thing. There's never going to be an end-all, be-all final boss for all these worlds, probably. Mm-hmm. Probably just be things you encounter. Right. So I wouldn't mind running into them every now and then. They, they've been definitely given too much emphasis in the most recent games. I agree with you with that. So the fact that they're right. taking a backseat, not a bad thing. Mm. I just like the Koopalings in general. Sure. Um, Pauline from the original Mario uh, Donkey Kong game, right. she's the mayor of New Donk City, right. and from what, how they framed it, she's singing the Odyssey uh, song. Which, if you ever watch One Piece, film gold. Yeah, sounds very, very identical kind of song. In all fairness, it's, it's just that jazzy, upbeat, yes. like Odyssey. Dun, 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 Odyssey. You're not doing it justice, but you're at least somewhat Odyssey. close. But it's actually a really catchy song. Not gonna lie, you can look it up. You can look up like Odyssey theme song. I I'm think gonna I look up. It up. The, that look, is a thing. I'm looking up the Japanese since we're done because I feel like that's gonna be bitching. I don't know if there is one, but... They're, well, they got this same exact trailer in Japanese, so they must be one. Maybe they like English. Oh, it's based off New York City. That's English-based. Yeah, but people speak or other Spanish. languages in a lot of Spanish-based. Spanish. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so... Um, uh, I mean, that was the close of their yeah, they, actual spotlight thing, showing Odyssey coming out 
October 27th. <laughs> new donk. <laughs> yeah. New donk city. Sup, Tom? It's really, it's an interesting name. Not yeah. going to lie. But, uh... Well, new donk city, donkey. All the streets are Donkey Kong names. No, I know, but... It's Don- just, Donkey it's... Kong, that's the city from Donkey, from Donkey Kong. Donk City? You know the original, Mar- like, it's not called Mario, it's called Donkey Kong, where Mario makes his first yes. appearance? It's that city. It's called New Donk City. Apparently now. We never knew. Or Donk City. Or... But was there a name back then? No, no it was just it was generic building with, with right, girders I... <laughs> and pipes, but... Maybe there was dialogue. I, I don't know. But, okay, well, either way... <laughs> we go back and, like, it's, oh, it's called Donk City all along. This is New Donk City. Oh, but basically, the other point was that it's kind of like Sunshine or Mario 64 in the sense that you keep collecting stuff in the same world. Yeah. So, different challenges, different quests, or different whatever. So, it should be pretty cool, and you'll get a lot of use out of this, what looks like, pretty big world. And Yeah, and you can travel anywhere. If you need to go underwater, turn to a cheap cheap. If you need to fly in the air, turn to a rocket. Right. Um, just, yeah, it looks fantastic. And they got new Amiibo and everything. They're all in their yep. wedding attire. Three new Amiibo, Bowser and Mario proposing to Peach. Peach is like, I don't know. Yeah, it's very interesting. They there's both a, have the hand out. There's a football Mario. There's a scuba Mario. You can go into a chain chomp. You can go into a car. You can go into a totem. You can go into a, a plastic like pipe thing. Like, look, We're just watching the trailer again now in awe because this thing looks amazing. The dinosaur has a mustache. It does have the mustache. I love that. You know, not in the initial they hit it. one. Well, yeah, because that would have ruined it. True. That's amazing. But pretty cool stuff. Yeah. And coming sooner than you think. Ten twenty-seven, which is a big deal for me. All right. <laughs> so, you do- yeah. And you don't have to leave a world when you get the one the moon things. That's true. Every time you do like a mission in like sixty-four, you get the star. You get the exit right. the painting. And then you got to go, go back, back in the, the painting. Th- That's great. You know they streamlined now. They've come to the future. Hey, we're streamlining. The present. Here. Hey. hey, but yeah, uh, but yeah, so that that's really it that's for... Nintendo Spotlight. Again, yeah. they're announcing more details now that we're probably missing, like Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga remake. Which, yeah. I mean, I played it. That's one of the best RPGs ever. I played it. I beat it. I liked it, and I might still have it. It's gonna like, be a huge game. It's gonna be huge. But like, there's biggest n- game. There's, n- I don't have a need to play that again. It's cool, but like. I'm not going crazy over that. I'm playing it again. <laughs> I mean, you're the one that buys Isaac like eight to, eight times to have it on every single I platform. I did not buy it eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six times. Not bad. Okay. Not eight. <laughs> All right. But, uh, yeah. yeah so, that's I mean, about it. Any, anyone in the chat, anything that we may have missed you guys want to talk about real quick? I mean, uh, this was mainly just a quick Nintendo kind of hype hype. Yeah, movie. we actually went longer than I thought we went. About 50 minutes on this, so... I mean, it makes sense. We kind of doubled the time that they did on their thing. That's true. Because we did more yeah. analysis. I have a feeling that Saga Remake won't be as fun, but we'll see. The biggest thing with Saga is, again, I was talking earlier, I love sprite work. And the first two Saga games had beautiful sprite work. These look more like... I, I couldn't tell from the trailer just now. I'm going to watch it later. It looked like more of like the updated model sprite work. Like the, well, because uh, they did say enhanced graphics. Yeah, that so weird in-between thing. So I'm hoping that they keep sprites, but if it's the models, I'll be eh on it. But the the original sprite work for those games are beautiful. Yeah. What else we got here? I think that's it. Uh, oh, D in the chat mentioned he likes the new Metroid Amiibo. So do I, D. That's squishy. New Fire Emblem, I fell asleep for about an hour. Yeah, when yeah. they showed off uh, Warriors, they yep. had uh, two. They had Marth and something. Yep, it was Marth and, like, I called her Shantae, half genie hero, because it looked like some genie girl. She's probably going to be the reason why all these characters are interacting in the game. Like, in uh, Higher Warriors, there was a new character they made, uh, Lana, just so, like, all these characters could be meeting. In the timeline or something? Yeah, like, they, they, they made reasons why this was happening. It wasn't just like, oh, we're all here. Oh. Yeah, so maybe that's what it is. Probably already talked about, but Metroid Prime, yes. yes. Yes, 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 yes. But now here's the thing. Makes me want to try it. Now in development. 2019, I told you. I'm assuming that it's Retro doing it, like they did all the other Metroid games. Don't know. The, here's the thing. Met, Retro's been working on something, but we don't know what it is. They've Fair. been hinting at Prime. We've got Prime. Now in development. But what have they been working on for the last three or four years? Well, they to fi- be they fair... They finished Tropical Freeze, to and be then fair, they went silent. To be fair... Where was ever Oasis? Great call. But, <laughs> to be fair, it took Breath of the Wild, like, five years. So... 
It's confi- five it's years. confirmed not retro. Okay, thank you, Tom. Ooh. So then, who's doing it then? So retro is just collecting residual so, checks. So, re- so re- <laughs> yeah, but why would retro be tweeting out the prime things? Then I guess, I guess they must have known. Or the three DS one. <laughs> no. Because if it's a remake, they get paid that, for remake. That's not the, Metroid the, Prime, though. They only did Metroid no, Prime. No, I know. I I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe so, they're just not working. Maybe they're sitting at home, sitting in their piles they're, of they're, cash. They're working on something. Like like they have to be. No. Nintendo took down a fan remake to make their own game. GG. Yeah. Well, yep. D, D, you have to realize it's that, also actually illegal. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. What they did was technically like. Even though it was really cool, technically not legal because they took. An actual IP. And Nintendo didn't take it down and then realize, oh, we should make our own version of this game. They are probably working we on that game. We don't know. They are Most pro- likely not. They are probably working on that game for the last year and a half, two years. Saw right. that come out and they were like, oh, shit. So, but I don't know. Either way, I'm excited to see what this Metroid Prime 4 is going to be if it's taking this long. But I'm still very sad. No Animal Crossing announcement. Yeah, so now let's talk about what we didn't get. No Animal Crossing. No Skate 4. No Skate 4. No <laughs> Smash on Switch. Right. No Melee HD. No Virtual Console. No... <laughs> no anything about online. Nothing about online. They didn't talk about the app at all, which probably for the best, honestly. <laughs> uh... But, yeah, it's kind of surprising. It's like, you feel really good about this. Oh, but did they... we talk about the Smash Bros. Melee HD Extreme Deluxe Edition for Switch with Knuckles of the Olympic Games? If you're talking about the one in 2020, yes. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> I'd buy that game. Wait, wait. Smash Bros. Melee HD. Awesome. Extreme Deluxe for Switch. Loving it. With Knuckles. New character. That's great. If the Olympic Games is like the stadium, I'd play it. Well, way to ruin my dumb joke. You dissected it too much. <laughs> and no F-Zero. That is right. I, I honestly think F-Zero's dead. Well, we thought Metro was dead. I've got two Metro games in one day. But not even enough people care about F Zero to make it a thing. Well, like they, if they bring back Smash, like people, like my stepsister knows what Captain Falcon is from Falcon Punch. Like, how do you know what a Falcon Punch is? Like, oh, everyone says it. Like, like that's no, a thing. Because everyone knows from Smash. Yeah, but like, she didn't realize it was from Smash. Oh, she's well. she's like, oh, no, a, Falcon, a Falcon Punch is a big punch. Yeah, because right? people watch that one video with the guy punch. scaring him out of the dumpster, and then he gets punched back in it. I think that's where people know it from. Yeah, but um. I, I they had that one game that released with the Switch. I always forget the name. I want to say Wipeout, but that's not it. That's the old the GameCube Switch? game. One it's two the, Switch. No, it's the racing game. Red Red Out. That's it. I think. Sure, I don't remember. I think it's the racing game. It's basically F Zero, but not F Zero. Mm-hmm. And I think those kinds of games are that genre, and that's it. I don't see them making F Zero one. I don't even think there's that much interest anymore in those types of games. I'm never that interested I mean, in that game. I mean, if you want a fast racing Nintendo game, play Mario Kart on 200cc. <laughs> or play which, the... which there are two F Zero stages in the Mario Kart DLC. Right. I mean, you there are F Zero stages. The Blue Falcon. There. New, new Ice Climber remake. No. D. I'm a firm believer that when they do announce announce Smash for Switch, Ice Climbers will be back. Oh, I I agree with that. But Ice Climber remake. No, I mean, if anything, I think they're gonna give it online capability. Oh, in with the balloon NES, fight. In the, like the NES classic thing, right? I think that's a possibility. that'd be cool. Two play, <laughs> two player ice climber NES. I mean, that's odd. Like, I could definitely see that. You I would, compete yeah. with each other to go through all the balloons and go whatever. And not for the balloons. Go back to the ice climber. I like balloon fight. They're almost the same. Re- Just remake all the extra early <laughs> Nintendo games like golf. Where's Mario Golf? Uh, oh, those were on 3DS. They tried on 3DS. Tried on 3DS. Yeah. I think it actually did okay. Yeah. But that was it. <laughs> they need to do the thing what they did. They tried doing with the Wii U, where you had the Wii U thing on the ground. You saw the golf oh, ball, right? And he took the Wii remote, and you like you smacked down. It's cool in theory. They tried doing all that cool stuff, but Mario test. No, I don't know. They came out with the one for the Wii U, the Ultra Smash or Power Smash. Or whatever. I have it in my sh- on the shrink wrap. I thought it was terrible looking. It looks very basic. It looks like it could get very boring. Um. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't or know. Or Kung Fu. I actually like that one. I never played Kung Fu for the NES. I never owned an NES for the longest time, so I don't even know. Yeah. But All right, the game well, should be cool. But literally the whole point is that they didn't talk about that. They didn't mm-hmm. talk about a lot of things that you would think they would address in some capacity, but maybe they will over the week, but it's kind of been a weird spot But again, to Reg, talk Reg, about Reggie it. made it clear they were talking about things coming out this year and very right. soon after. Well, they announced the online's not, not until... It's a next year thing. Though... It is still free online right now, so it is like going. Like you have Splatoon yeah. coming up, that's a big online Splatoon, game. Splatoon, Arms, and Pokemon. Those are big online games, so 
you'd think some clarity would be nice. Yeah. Because they have to play online more or less now. So I think we'll get another Splatoon Direct before Splatoon comes out. Arms is done with. The arms got an arms direct. I guess there's that. one more Splatoon Direct coming out. Right. Where they're gonna explain how to talk. <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you get a what? I have no idea, but I I'll check that game out. No. <laughs> I'm assuming it's like just like the, an anime. Oh, I. I you're on camera, sir. Just, You're on camera, sir. I forgot. It's All okay. right. It's going to come up in a second. All right. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, uh, I, will, I will look it up after, but that that was... Remake the Xbox One S, what should we call it? Maybe they we sh- should call it Xbox no, One X. They should have called it the Xbox Neo, because it'd be Xbox One, and you switch around the letters in one and make it Neo. And Neo is the one in the Matrix, and it's a powerful thing. The Xbox... This is why you should be working. They should for hire these... me. Yes. I can think of things. Yes. Okay. Well, <laughs> we've gone about, about an hour now. That's everything that's fit to print right now with Nintendo. We will be back next week with a full-on E3 recap. Uh, I think it's good to get Nintendo out of the way right now, just because we, again, an hour. So the our... fanboys can talk about their thing, and then yeah, exactly. <laughs> then we'll be more objective next <laughs> exactly. week. Exactly, <laughs> more objective next week. Again, they're announcing more stuff, so we're gonna leave now. Get out of this oven. I'm melting, as you can see. He actually is. Disturbing. I want to like go back in the video, like start from the beginning of the video. It's like now, and see like me just like fall apart. But that's. I mean, I'm getting hot, but like. I, I don't really show it that well, much. Well, you're in shorts. I'm wearing jeans. And... Well, that was a stupid choice. Yeah. But... <laughs> oh, God. Tom Clip made the clip. Fuck you, Tom. Nice. Nice. I like it. All thank right. you, Tom. I knew I liked you. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. This has been the JK... No! Tom, who's in the chat? Yup. <laughs> yup. Thank you all for listening to the JK Podcast. Until next time, I've been Ken O'Connor. I'm Josh Brandman. Please don't watch that clip. See Please you guys do. In the... See you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye.